Hey, welcome back students. In this video, I want to go ahead and focus on how to multiply and divide significant digits. And so you have already gotten exposed to the significant digit discussion for quite a while now in some of the videos that we've seen in previous sessions. Refer back to those videos if you need to get some more brush up on that. I want to focus specifically here on how we multiply and how we divide the significant digits. I'm not going to give you a very complex problem, but I'll give you an example just so we can get our, our bearings straight here. Let's say that we go in and start with the following number. What if we start with, say, a 3.4, and we're going to go ahead and multiply that by 7.2. And we want to know what the answer is there. So you go ahead and use your calculator and plug that in, and 3.4 times the 7.2, that should give you an answer of 24.2. Now, if you're plugging this into the calculator, you're like, yeah, this is my answer, 24.48. And I'm going to tell you, you are correct. But at the same time, not exactly because we are not reporting the final answer to the correct number of significant figures. So what you need to do is look at each number respectively and determine how many significant digits do we actually have or how many significant figures, both of those phrases, significant figures, significant digits, those are synonymous phrases. Okay, so what we've got here is, if we look at this first section here, we're going to notice that we've got the 3 is significant and the 4 is significant. So if I look at the count here, the count here is going to be 2 sig figs. And, okay, that's great. So let's go look at the other number. Here we've got the 7 and the 2. We, both, we know that the 7 is significant and the 2 is significant. So we've got a count of 2 sig figs figs here. So when I look at my final answer, I cannot report a final answer that is greater than the least number of significant figures for any number that I'm provided in the problem. And so when I look at this, the significant figure count, we know that the 2, 4, 4, and 8 in that answer are all significant, but I can only report the first two. And so if I do that, keep in mind that that line is going to be right here at the 24, right after the first four. And so I need to look at that second digit there. I need to look at the second four and ask myself, is this digit here going to be greater than five? If it's greater than five, then that means I get to round the previous digit in the second place or in the ones position, okay? Since it's not greater than five, I'm not gonna go ahead and do the rounding here, which means I can ignore these four and the eight and I can bring this down. So my final answer here is gonna be equal to 24. This is my final answer in this particular example for multiplying, okay? Now, it doesn't matter if the numbers were larger. What you want to do here is you want to make sure that you focus on having the, um, the number of significant digits you report in your final answer is dictated and determined by the least number of significant figures within the problem. In this particular case, since both of these are two sig figs, the final answer has to be two, okay? So let's look at another example. All right, so let's go ahead and clear some of this out. Let's take care of that. Take care of that here, and we'll remove this one here. What if we have now, let's say that we're gonna go with a 3.92, and we're gonna go ahead and divide this by, oh, I don't know, let's say 0 0.144, and we wanna know what's the answer here. So if we go, go ahead and use your calculator, do the math on your own, see what you come up with. I'll go ahead and take a quick little uh, pause for you, or you can go ahead and pause the video and just go ahead and divide it out and see what you get. If you go ahead and do the math, what you wind up getting is the following number. 27.2222. In fact, there's a series of twos here. In fact, I see a total of seven twos. So I'm just going to go ahead and write five, maybe a six, because that's all that fits. But there's actually seven. Now, if you report this on a quiz or a test, you know, technically you're right. This is the right answer. But the problem here is that you're not reporting the answer to the correct number of significant figures. We got to go back again to the original numbers that were provided in the problem and count them. So if we look at this number here, we see that the total number of significant figures here is going to be three. Those are three sig figs and largely because the three will count, the nine will count, and the two will count. Let's look at the other number provided in the problem, which is right here on the right-hand side or here in the center. We know that the one, the four, and the four are gonna count, but since the zero is a leading zero, any zero to the left 
of the first significant digit, in this case, D1, is not going to be significant. So my count here is going to be three sig figs, okay? And so noticing here the lowest number, both of these significant number or significant figure counts is the same. What I wanna do is make sure that my final answer is to three significant figures. And if we're doing the math here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this. We're gonna count up to three. So I know that the two counts, the seven counts and the two counts, in fact, all of them count, but I can only report up to the first two after that decimal because that would be the third significant digit. So I look at the one in the fourth position here underlined. Let me go ahead and put this a red dot here. I look at this digit here and I ask, is this number greater than five? The answer here is no, it's not. So I'm not gonna do anything. I'm not gonna round or anything like that. In fact, all of this other numbers here, I'm just gonna ignore them because they're really not that important to me anymore. So my final answer here is going to be 27.2. And so when I go and report my final answer on a quiz or exam, this is the number I wanna to report to because if I look at the count here, the count here, 272, has three sig figs. And that's really what I want to report. All right. So here are some two examples that I provided, one for multiplying, one for dividing. Go ahead and review the video again if you need to. If you need also need to, come and see me in class. But go ahead and subscribe. Keep watching, keep learning, and we'll see you in the next video.